This summer, North Dakota experienced an eruption of butterflies, when at times it seemed you could find them on pretty much every nearby flower. A lot of people think they are mini monarchs, but most of them are actually the painted lady butterflies. When there's a lot of warm, warm weather and a lot of moisture, they reproduce and their population grows and grows and the bigger the population they start migrating further and further. So every year we'll get some to come up to North Dakota but this year they had a wet, uh, wet spring down south and so we get much bigger numbers. Mueller says the butterflies are migrating from the deserts of New Mexico, California, Arizona and northern Mexico. And one may ask, why are they called the painted lady butterfly? They have on the um, underneath of their wing, you will see there's like four little eye spots at the bottom, and then on the top, there's this coral and pink color, and it looked like um, Victorian painted ladies who would paint their cheeks rouge and wear the red lipstick. So they got the common name, the painted lady. <laughs> The butterflies are landing on flowers because they need the sugar and nutrients the flowers provide. Butterflies are unique and taste with their feet. They have these long tongues which are called proboscis and they use those to get the nectar from a wide range of flowers. They are generalists. The adult butterflies will visit many, many different species and even the caterpillars have been documented to eat over I, w I think it's over 300 different species of flowers, whereas a monarch we know only eats milkweed. Mueller says as long as the weather stays warm, the butterflies will stick around. They will eventually start migrating south again for winter, and there is no way to predict when we will have the next eruption of the painted lady butterflies. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.